Hi everyone, welcome to Real Talk Uncapped and today I am joined by yours truly, uh, Mr. Jazik. Mm. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Okay girl. Then yeah. Yes. Yeah, so how are you today? I'm right, uh, how are you? I'm good, uh-huh. actually, yeah. I'm having quite a great day. Yeah, you definitely look like you do. Oh really? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you really. Ish. <coughs> Thanks. Okay. So, um, yeah, let's get started. Sure. Okay. So, how did you, rea- when did you realize that you had the talent and the passion for music? Um, I remember I was still in primary school when I, like, firstly started getting interested in the music. Mm-hmm. Um, the biggest thing for me, I always wanted to be a DJ. Wait, primary, and you just yeah. knew that that's what like, you wanted to do. I was like, "That's me right there. That's that's my shit." You know what I mean? So, when time went by, like, I come from a very intellectual family, mm-hmm. so um, such things are like taken very, very like. Mm. It's just like, dog, you need school. You need to go to school. Yeah. And you'll figure that shit out afterwards. So. It was kind of tricky, you know, but I, me, I pushed. You being you? I pushed, dog. I was like, I know it's, I really need to get that shit done, you know what I mean? Mm. So, <clears throat> yeah. All right. So, yeah, you being you decided to continue and do your own thing. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah. how did it start? Did you start by buying your own equipment, learning how to DJ, or how um, did it start? Well, I started, like, on the computer, you know, mm-hmm. just like playing around with like some few apps and stuff like that. Mm. Um, when time went by, I I got used to using like equipment mm-hmm. physically, like yeah. starting to mix shit around and all of that. And at that time, I was still like in grade seven or six. Mm. So yeah, I was actually too much. Too much. Ow. You still are. Don't come on. Come on. It is what it is. <laughs> so, do you have anyone that inspired you to start music? Were you yeah. looking up to somebody to say, "Hey, you know what? Tsunami one day." Um, my dad, my grandma, my uncle. Um, they were very big collectors of music. Mm-hmm. You know? So, um. This way, like I, I, I found my interest in the music from because um, there was like a lot of records at the house, you know, collections of one, two, and three, mm-hmm. like everywhere, you know. So yeah, I think I think that's where like I found my my my, my music passion, you mm-hmm. know. Yeah, from like my family, my surroundings were very big on that. Because also where I was, where where we were living, mm. <coughs> yeah. Okay, cheese boy, Mark, like call it Alex. So okay, cheese boy. Come on, team man. No, Anyways. okay. Thank you for telling us. Sure. Hey. Hey. Yeah, hey. <laughs> yeah, the people must know. Yeah, hey. no. Look at the Mhm. Yeah, get it, Okay. Mm. Balance. Hey. All right. <laughs> All right. All right, they have. So, yeah. going into the music industry, sure. yeah. Yeah. what have you learned? What has the industry taught you? Maybe about yourself or just in general? Um, you need to, you really need to know yourself mm-hmm. before like you can start giving yourself out to people. That's true. Um, because it's very important to know your ground Mm -hmm. because you find a lot of different characters out there and they start confusing you Mm. yeah so so once you know what you want you focus on that yeah sorry i cut you i know like i mean i got that that vibe (laughs) so obviously (laughs) all right so yeah but um the short of it is that you just need to know where you want to go, um, how far you want to get, mm-hmm. and also not forgetting where you come from, because 
it's very strange how people tend to forget mm-hmm. where they're coming from because now there's so and so and so coming in you know so so let's keep that in the back of your head all right um, okay so where do you see yourself <coughs> in like the future with the music well well I, see, well I see myself with the music I'm obviously planning to take my sound international because like right now my sound is dominating on the streets of South Africa and all of that mm. so <clears throat> my plan is to actually take it to the rest of the world take it to the rest of the babies yeah, international maybe, maybe Mars you know <laughs> <laughs> Come on, <laughs> really? Yeah, like my my, my thinking capacity is wide. Is that much? Yeah. Okay, no, I really like that. Mm. You are thinking big, okay? So, um, how has the pandemic affected your work, the music side of things? Well, uh, well, let's start in the beginning of yeah. the pandemic. How was it? Hey, me, I was rocking there. Really? You. <laughs> I had a party. <laughs> I had a party. It didn't end. It was going on for like two months. It was my birthday. People started complaining like, ah, Are you kidding me? Yeah, I sh- Corona saved a lot of people because... <laughs> <laughs> because it could have been... Yeah, I, we were The rocking. party could have gone on the whole year. Yeah, we were rocking. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay, so when the, the regulations started getting strict, that's when... Yeah, that's when like... Started was, chilling like, out. Yeah, like... Like people, if like anyone was at Moja mm-hmm. that weekend before, like that was the last time they had fun. For my birthday, <laughs> I forget it. <laughs> they know the truth. Yeah. Eh? They I must just come just and like, say, yeah, I was there. And like, hey, chief, that night, even the dollies, they were there. Yo, cheetahs, they were mm. coming with the coins of the <laughs> night now. You know what I mean? Taking it to the top, everything nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, no, that's really cool. I so, know. yeah. I get that, okay, that, that was the most amazing part of it. But you know, with different kind of people that are artists, they were really affected in not so, in not such an ama- amazing way. So, yeah. you know, <coughs> in that aspect, well, the difficulties that you, you know, it was very with. hard. It was very hard to tell you the truth, because uh, um, a lot of artists were very affected by this whole thing. Um, because for one, there was no income, mm-hmm. and also it came at an at a at a very unexpected time because now we couldn't even plan. Yeah, you know, so it was like an un- unforeseen day. So at that time, it was just like, yo, you have to figure yourself out. You know what I mean? Um, you had to come up with like contingency plans. Yeah, like, I saw. You, weren't you doing like your live videos to keep your people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And stuff. I was doing like a lot of that. <laughs> <coughs> I was doing a lot of that, but at the end of the day, I just felt like, okay, like it's not the same, you know? It's really not the same. And like, um, I'm a person that gives, so I really need to give to my people. Yeah, but I think that was quite the contingency plan at that moment in time. Because other people could have just sat back and said, you know what, now I don't know what to do moving forward. But you kept it going, mm. even though it was difficult, you yeah, know. Yeah. And you also came up with a strategic way to keep <coughs> people interested. I mean, now we're on level two. I mean, people are like, hey, hey what's that song? <laughs> Get out there and have a good time. Yeah. They've been waiting for you, you know? So it's I feel like you did really good with the whole pandemic thing. Mm. Well, that's what I think. I don't know what you think. Well, <laughs> I think I was on top of the game, dog. <laughs> you I think feel you like were it was in it? I feel like it was me and then Robert Oh no, most, most, you didn't have problems. Nah nigga, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh you did have problems. It's just that you were able to handle them. No, I, I, I came up with a plan. Mm. Exactly. I'm that guy. Mm. I'm like a strategic guy. Mm-hmm. So I make things happen. Okay, now we like to hear that. Yeah. That's amazing. All right, so what got you into the food business? <clears throat> From DJing to food? So I always loved food, eh? Oh. Like, I'm a big, I'm a foodie. And, like, mm-hmm. um, I've always been interested in, like, knowing 
how to cook. With my chef Ramsey. You know? Mm. Um, <clears throat> but um, I had a, I had this friend, I've, I've got this friend of mine, mm-hmm. which is my partner now, mm-hmm. um, who was like, who's like a good chef, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, we've always had the idea in mind, but um, things didn't work out like within the past years. Yeah. So but um, you started big then. <coughs> we, we we started back then. On with estimate the, with, which year? With the conversation. Oh, it was just a conversation. It was just a conversation. Mm. It became a COVID conversation. Okay. And ended up as a COVID success business oh. type of thing. So yeah, Jump Park is oh yeah, and also I'm the owner of Jump Park. Relax. I was about to get there. Why are you beating me to it? I'm like, I'm like, sorry, okay. so you're taking my line. Why are you doing that? <laughs> Okay, Mr. Jazik, the owner of Junk Park. Oh, I'm, I should have done that introduction. They're like, they're more. <laughs> they're all more, more baby. <laughs> okay, so how has the journey been? Because I know you're saying it started during the pandemic. Huh. So that means it didn't start like the usual restaurant start. Yeah, it didn't start like the usual restaurant. Yeah, so, so that's what makes from, it unique. From bottom to skyrocketing same time issue no it's amazing yeah, eh? no. okay so what has this journey taught you so far with the food business has it got you thinking differently i don't know um anything is possible mm-hmm. yeah that's 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 my 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 level of thinking at this point in time mm. anything is possible anything you put your mind to you can do it mm. regardless of the situation yeah or whatever you are in you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. Okay. So, so you, you you just need to like you just need to like apply your mind, strategize, mm-hmm. make sure that everything that you want mm-hmm. is like aligned, and take both those things, put them together, just like how I took the music, took Jung Park. Made it a thing. Made one thing. I should actually pull through and see how it is because everybody's talking about it. Hey, that, that, yeah. <laughs> what? I'm going to check the place out to support you. You don't want that? I uh, know, I definitely want Come it. Come on, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, so um, what is the plan now since we're on like lockdown level two, right? Mm. What's the plan with the, the music and the restaurant? Well, the plan is to grow, you know, mm. in, <clears throat> in all aspects. Mm. So, with the music, there's going to be music, new music coming out. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to be dropping like a few projects. Um, also, with Jump Park, it's going to be, we're going to start branching out. Hey now. So, you guys must like, just stay tuned. But like for now, before we start branching out, we're going to be hitting like a few cities. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gassi to Gassi tour. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hoeing pop-ups. Yeah. Um, we're having our first pop-up on the 30th of August. Which is this Sunday. Yeah, the Sunday at uh, Urban Grill in Soweto. So, every first and last Sunday of the month, we're going to be having a pop-up in a different hood. Mm, that's, yeah. that's nice. So, And a lot of people are actually <coughs> looking forward to the one that's happening on Sunday. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm like... You're on fire right now. I'm selling the best food in Africa right now. Issue! Yeah, so, mm. mm-hmm. Guys, Mr. Jezik. Jezik. <laughs> so what would you say to the t- wait i don't even know how old you are but i'm gonna assume you are older than 21 so what would you say to the 21 <laughs> year old you <laughs> what would you say to the 21 old year you well don't wait for anything and the only for melee okay <laughs> so like <laughs> <laughs> just do your thing Ooh, and, Nelly, like, please. yeah do your thing put your mind to whatever that you want to do mm-hmm. and strive for the best the whole time all right i like the sound of that yeah. so what would you say to any upcoming artist that wants to go into what you're doing yeah and they still you know finding it hard because i believe you don't just you know wake up and you are the best or you work towards it you know so what would you say to them or when i or the best <laughs> yeah from the go <laughs> i want to have that chair eh? like, no i do i do i do you do yeah i want to have that 
it yet. I don't want to have that yet. You don't think I'm ready for it? Nah, nah, nah. It's not a matter of that. What is, what like, is the it? music speaks for itself. Issue. Okay. Yeah. I sh- yow, da, da, da. Yow, boo, uh, your work must do the thing. Da, da, da. Okay. Yeah, oh. We're not here. We're not selling poloni. <laughs> we don't sell okay. poloni. Nah. Mm. So, um. I sh- like, for me. Yeah, just just be. I feel like at this point, you yeah. should just be like very honest with them, or with your experience, and yeah, maybe like, think of how it I'm was really to... very hard for you, or maybe not too hard. Yeah, I don't know. I get yeah, that's what I'm, I'm saying. One of them. I that's, wanna... what, that's what I'm saying. Like, say it from your for experience. Me, it wasn't that hectic. It wasn't. Mm-mm. Okay, how was it for you? Hey. Tell me, this is what happened. Then this is what happened. And then bam. This <laughs> is your box, no? Okay. Your box is filled up. Mm. But when your box is filled up like that, not everything that's in there is proportionally sized. Mm-hmm. And obviously, if everything is not proportionally sized, there's going to be a gap. Mm. And when you see a gap, issue. Dumbo. Enter. Yeah. Enter yeah. the market. Do so, your thing. Yeah, like for me, it was a thing of. This I was had, an opportunity. I had something. Mm-hmm. I saw a gap, and I went for it. I like, I, mean? I like the thought of that. Yeah, because You're sounding now, like a guy in marketing right now. No, like a mom. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Nah. Like, sure. Yeah. yeah. I will. Sure, sure. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, you can tell with all like my shit, like girl skyrocket. Cause mm-hmm. like I'm actually too much like that. My marketing is like too much. Okay. Yeah. Make make junk pack boom in like a week. Come on. Yeah. Look at you. Yeah. You're yeah. doing well. You can make it trend tomorrow. Me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Am I trying to trend though? Okay, guys. Thank you very much for joining us. It was lovely having you here. I liked our chat very much, and I hope it really inspires all of you out there that are trying to be in his shoes. But these ads. Cheers. 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 Cheers.